Hello guys, it seems that long time ago in each manufacturer company there was someone who was saying uh, why are you looking at that SUVs? Nobody will buy them, nobody needs them. We're gonna sell our minivans or our liftbacks, our hatchbacks, our sedans and it will be more than enough. Well, it seems that that guys or that manufacturers that didn't start to manufacture any SUVs did the big mistake. But what if you also need an SUV? Because we're in 2020 and in 2020 everyone wants an SUV. Everyone wants to buy an SUV. So, I'll be back to my question. What if you need a Japanese car? What if you need an SUV that is considered reliable, not just because it's um, a Japanese car, but because it is a reliable car? What if it is related to a history of the company that started with the speed and racing? And that's why you need the Honda CRV from 2008 that we have today for the review. And it's not a simple Honda CRV. It is a special one, as it is the most packed executive model. And at the same time, it's special because it's one of my colleague Alig. Thank you very much for providing me with this car. So let's go for the review. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. So, today for the review, as you see, we have the Honda CRV, the third generation from 2008, in executive model. That means that this car has everything that is necessary to have in an SUV and even more. The spare wheel is not staying somewhere in the back of the car as usual. Yes, it's not here. No. The spare wheel is inside of the boot and what's interesting that the boot space is not eaten by the spare wheel. Just look at these lines and I really do love them as it's giving a different feeling and way of looking at this car. Honda CRV of the third generation that we have today it was, I think, the first Honda CRV that said goodbye to the cubic Rubik uh, thing or the way of doing cars at that moment of time. As you see, the car is uh, more rounded in the front, like from the sides, in the back, on the roof line, like it's really rounded because they decided they want to go in the future. Of course, there have been people who didn't like the rounded shape of the newer Honda CRV that we have today for the review. But from my side, as a previous owner of the Honda CRV third generation, I really do love the shapes. Because even in 2020, the car looked fresh and it still will be looking fresh at least like from five to 10 years like more or less you can get be considered like a modern car because it is an executive model these rims are 18 inch and this is the rims that you want to go because this is the top of the line rims for the honda crv and because of these rims the car look even higher i have been looking previously at the honda crv with 17 inch like not the executive model and this honda crv 18 inch the executive model and really this car looks bigger in the traffic sometimes if you are driving next to a crv most probably you saw like some crvs like very small and you're thinking like why did this guy bought a crv if it's the same size as a Nissan Note or something like that, as a hatchback, like, yep, like, that's because of the small rims. Here we have an 18 inch rims. Of course, if you have any more imagination, you can take off these rims and you can install even bigger wheels because as you see here, you have plenty of space to do it. As usual, um, in order to make it more interesting, 
they added as a Volvo, I would say that these bumpy plastic things from outside to protect your car. The back bumper as well, as you see here, it's made of the plastic, black plastic. So even if you're scratching it, you're not gonna cry that you need to fix it somehow. As well from the side, you have the plastic, protective plastic. And from this side of the door, you have the protective plastic. In the front, you have the protective plastic. Yes, it's looking like really in the stylish of the Volvo XC70, but um, I would say that is nice. Or you're not gonna cry if you're gonna scratch it. For the car, in order to make it, it looking even better, as you see, they mounted a lot of chrome at the door handles, at the windows, right here. In the back, you have a lot of chrome, like everywhere it's chrome. From this side is chrome, even the wheels are in color of chrome to look even better. Chrome here, chrome there, everywhere, like it's chrome. Even in front, you have a little bit of chrome. It's an executive model. You have, in this case, the fog lights already installed in the car as well these stylish good looking lights of course they need to be clean because after um, 12 years of usage they already foggy but that's possible to be fixed you can check on internet there's plenty of options and different ways of doing even DIY home but if not you can go to a specialist and it will be up to 30 euros around 30 euros to fix both your headlights to look like new so, and about the engine this is a two liter uh, engine that is i tech from the honda it has 150 horsepower in the united states the same engine was uh, provided with 165 horsepower this is the engine that will not have any issues because it should not have any issues it's not eating any oils or etc the car has only 110,000 kilometers like only 110,000 kilometers and you know what they are saying about this honda's engine like these are the engines that are made like a tank this car is made like a tank the engine will not die. Most probably the car will die before the engine, but it's not like going anywhere. So it's a nice engine, 150 horsepower, will not let you down, like enjoy it. What is related to the back of the car i decided to show it like that not from the first person view because you need to see everything so here we have the boot boot is big and you see the boot is divided in two sections because in executive model you have this divided dividing thing that you can take it out in the back we have oops here you have a full tire spare wheel and here you have a 556 liters boot space if your seats are right in the back so as usual i'll go here and as you see not that i'm fitting i fit in it very well like you can close the door without any issues but in order to make your boot space even bigger in this case you go inside and you move your car sits right in the front deck you see there's even more boot space like it's <laughs> really <laughs> right now i have space for another person next to me so what's the most important interesting thing that in this case you can transport a lot of things in the back and also another free grown-ups right in the back seat of the car you still have the option about the back seat hello like right from the boot i'm going in front because all the free seats can be closed separately or open separately as you see we have the front seat that can go down and you can transport very long things but if not you'll just put it back 
as you see, I have for one meter, 85 centimeters, I have plenty of space. At the roof of the car, by example, even if it's with the sunroof, in general, when there is a sunroof, the rooftop are lower, but not here because Honda think about that. So I have around four uh, fingers like space and I'm already like tall. For even taller people, it would be okay to ride here. More, every car seat can be adjusted like while driving. From the fact that you can go like in front and in the back, uh, it's one of the options, yes? And you have a thing here that you're just taking up and you can go for a sleeping position. Let me show you, you can adjust it for the all three of them. So as you see here, so basically on the long run, I have even space for my legs here, like to put them under the front seat. So as a passenger in the back of the Honda CRV, it is a pleasant and fantastic experience. Oh yes. What I would like to have in my future car is this one. Is the sunroof. Really, I love this sunroof. Like at least it's connecting me with a lot of good memory. Like a previous owner of the Honda CRV, I would love to have a sunroof in my future car. Because you're thinking that you don't need it, but only after having it, you understand that, whoa, this is the way to go. As you saw from the back space, the interior is made of two colors. You have the beige lever color and you have the beige lever seats and as well the color beige. And as well, you have the black color that is on the uh, doors and as well on the front cockpit panels and etc. In both, in conjunction, these both colors together are working very well. They are giving the feel of exclusivity, like you're driving not a simple car, not the material one, you're driving a lever seats car with a black interior trim. About the front seats of the driver, it is electronically operated. You can operate it like in front, in the back, up and down, and as well, you can use to recline or put it back your back seat. As well, you have the lumbar support here. Only after having it in Honda CRV, I understood how important it is like in a day-by-day -day driving or if you're driving for a long run because in having the lumbar support here it's keeping you your back spine really straight and in the end you're not gonna have any issues with it and taking consideration that yearly by yearly you're getting even older so it's kind of a good thing to have in your car in rest let's go for the interior here you have the parking that it is a manual one and it's really nice because in general for the most simple one you have the parking right here next to your left foot but it's not so comfy so it's better to have the parking here more you have the both car seats are heatedly operated and this is a nice thing you have like two cup holders right in front and it's like they're middle type basically what i'm saying you can sit here even small cups of the coffee or even big coffee cup and about the storage there is a small storage like small storage it's a big storage you can mount here a lot of things you have here the aux to in order to connect your phone and or to listen to the music from the from the phone and a power outlet from 12 volts like even to charge something if you need like nice thing to have well you have here the um cigarette lighter not sure who exactly is um smoking in 2020 it's already not modern but you decide you have it and as well you have two small compartments in order to put other things that you need in your car so about the door bins in general for a small water of half a liters here it will be more than enough space to fit it for a big one yes it will not be enough but that's the case here you have another small compartment that is divided you can put like some garbage if you need and here there's another small compartment i don't know you can put 
like our spare change as usual because it's Honda CRV and our storage here and our storage here but here you have the standard exclusive package wheel you have the volumes control channels for the radio you have the most to change as well you have the Bluetooth you can connect them by using these buttons from here here you can answer or decline the call as well because it's an exclusive model here you have the cruise control buttons right on your wheel very simple to use like bravo honda for that of course we have the front cockpit the additional like as usual you have the red from the left for the right you have the kilometers and this car drove only 110,000 kilometers genuine kilometers here you have the like the small computer from the honda crv where all the information is displayed like how many liters you are using how many kilometers did you pass how many kilometers you still have and etc more you have here the air conditioning that is blowing really cold this is the four speed automatic gearbox like it is recommended to change the oil in this gearbox once in 45,000 kilometers and they are saying that if you're gonna change it and doing it this gearbox will last and live as long as the engine will do and as we know the engine is made like a tank it will run literally forever okay maybe not forever but for at least uh, 350,000, 400,000, even 500,000, it can drive without issues. If, of course, you're changing the oil in time and you're not thinking that this car, it is a car to drive really, really fast. No, it is not. This is more a cruise, cruise ship. So take this in consideration. In rest, you have here a small glove box compartment, you know, to put your pants or whatever you have there. And there is another glove box compartment, kind of normal size, A4 size. You can use it, it's nice. In general, the materials are made nice, but okay, this is not leather, this is plastic. This is like a kind of hard plastic. This is as well in the front hard plastic. Here as well is hard plastic. Every, like here as well is hard plastic. Here is hard plastic in the front. It's a hard plastic, but they spent some money on it making it because it has, you see, some texture, nice texture. This is like, I'm saying like it's not a plastic. Yes, and this is a plastic, but it's a texture like of a wood. Nice. Even here, like it's a plastic, but with nice texture. So good for that one of the most important thing for the car seats of the honda crv are this armrest as you see everyone has an armrest the passenger in the front and a driver and when you're driving for a long period of time having an armrest this is whoa 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 this is fantastic really as usual here you have the controls for the sunroof and as well from the front front some sun visors for the driver and as well for the passenger. one thing that i saw here and i didn't saw in my previous honda crv that i own is except for the parking you can stop the beeping of and as well you have here the washer wipes you can wash your front light by pressing the button so the water will pop up if you remember from my lexus review if you saw previous like check in the pop-up banner above there is the same you just press the button and the front water will pop up and wash your front lights really nice thing to have hello again so the driving experience of the honda crv 2008 model executive package as a previous owner that owned such a car in the past i would like to tell you that this car is driving very smooth and in the end it's 150 horsepower with a four speed automatic gearbox that is changing the speeds without issues and that's why i like it very very much
let's uh, proceed with the uh, daily information about the car. So, about the brakes. The brakes on the car are predictable. They are nice, they are good, they are uh, stopping the car when it's necessary. Of course, it's not like on the Germans when you're pressing the brakes and the car will stop on its place. No, it is not like that. You need to press harder. By the way, I almost forgot to tell you, the car has a back side camera and as well the parking sensors. So be sure that in the end when you're gonna park, uh, you'll have all the available possibilities to protect yourself in order to park very well and to see everything what is happening. So about the suspension. Suspension is very smooth. You'll not expect for a car to be so smooth. Like this is a big boat that driving on the road. It's eating very well all the differences on the road and you quite don't feel that. So I can assure you this is a good suspension. More taking consideration that the sound insulation in the car is made very, very well. So you almost do not hear anything. Handling is good. And the difference from the Mazda, if there's like a big boat and you see it 100%, this is also like a big boat. And it's driving like a big boat. Yeah, when you're driving, you feel it like it's a big mass. But in the same time, the handling is very well made and very well like working. Gearbox, it's a four speed automatic gearbox and it's working very, very well. This is a normal standard old gearbox. So it will not work like a CVT. It will not work like a DSG from the Volkswagen. No, this is an old four speed automatic gearbox. And that's why uh, this car, because of this gearbox, will consume more uh, gasoline than our uh, than our cars. But in this case, you are paying you are paying more like for the gas. But in the end, you are not repairing your gearbox because the gearbox, if you're changing the oil once in 45,000 kilometers, it will work properly without no issues in the nearest future. So in the nearest 300, 400,000 kilometers. Acceleration. It will go up to 100 kilometers in around 10.9 seconds. Let's set the acceleration. As you see, the acceleration, I just... It's 4,000 RPMs, but the car, it's moving not so fast as you see like the gearbox is deciding like uh, guys I'm gonna stay a little bit and I'm gonna drink my tea before uh, move so not a, it's a not a fast car it just like a cruise along ship that's all a ship with big space for everyone in your family including your uh, mother-in-law if you have so a nice family car. The car sounds nice. And uh, as you see right now, we are driving right inside of the car with the exact sound that you're gonna feel with your ears. And if you agree with me, the insulation is very well made because I'm not shouting. I'm hearing some noise, but I'm hearing the noise only from the wheels. So if you buy a car like this, it will be better, of course, in your country where you have to make additional insulation for the wheels arch. And if you're going to make this insulation, uh, I'm more than sure that, your that the sound in the car will be so quiet. And you're going to drive in such a quiet way that you're going to love the car even more. The fuel consumption is not small. And because of the gearbox, it will be around 10, 11, uh, 11 and a half liters in the city but okay it depends how you drive if it will be somewhere on the highway and you're gonna drive on the highway it will be around seven and a half eight liters per 100 kilometers so what I could say in the end I would say that I kind of like the car the car is interesting it has a lot of things that you need in the 
2020. In the end, you have the camera, you have the Bluetooth option in order not to speak on your phone while driving. You have the parking sensors, you have good visibility. Ah, by the way, the visibility on the car is very well. You kind of really feel in a SUV. For a family, it's very good. It um, has a lot of space if you need it. It drives smooth and in the end, your butt is feeling very well. You have the sunroof for long cruises. Yep, it's a nice car. You're buying it not for the less fuel consumption. You're buying it basically for the experience. You're buying it for having an SUV. You're buying it for having, for being upper in the traffic, yes? You're buying an SUV for the space. And basically you're buying an SUV for your family to feel even better inside of the car while driving. So that's why you are buying it. And the Victorioso score for the Honda CRV from 2008 is this one. For additional information why it's that, please proceed to the link attached to the video. Thank you. I hope you liked the review. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment. And let's meet in the next video. Cheers, guys. It was a pleasure for me to drive with you.